Hello. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome. Guys, gather, gather around. Come on, Obi. Come on. G guys in the back, come to the front. Come to the front. No, you don't have to sit back there. Come, come, come up here. Welcome to the Wolf Den Podcast. How you doing? It's us. It's wow. me and and not Will. True. AJ, how are you doing? This is AJ. Everybody say hi I'm to AJ. I'm doing great, man. Just hanging out. It's Everybody knows who AJ is. I haven't done content with Bob Wolf in a minute. We haven't done content in a while. We did just see each other. It's true. It's true. <laughs> in, in real life. Um, yeah. But no, you. Ha I haven't had anybody on the podcast in a long time. Mm -hmm. But uh, Yeah. I'm not anybody. I've been You're on the podcast anybody. more than anybody, man. You have. I'm you just are... ending my lead even further. <laughs> you, yeah, you are the person. Uh, you are the third most used person on the podcast. I guess used is not <laughs> yeah. the word that I wanted to use, but <laughs> I know what you meant. It's it's you, and then it's Will, and then it's me. Yes, exactly, exactly. Anyway. Uh, this is AJ from not Fanatics 4 anymore. True. It's true. The name was terrible. We kept it too long because it's loyalty. <laughs> I feel that. I mean, I've had this name since, since we started. Yeah, but what then's <laughs> a good name? I it makes a little more sense name. because I was born with the name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's a good name. So, anyway, uh, we have a lot of random shit to talk about today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but none of it's a good main topic we got uh switch online games we got new switch online games apparently we got uh uh friggin multiverses stuff that's the smash mm -hmm. brothers uh warner brothers game uh yeah. there's a new switch update i think you can't say the f word anymore or else reggie yeah. comes over and shoots you in the face um we have uh, uh, Mo Yang, Minecraft, talking about NFTs, and we got VR stuff. Um, but the main thing I wanted to talk about this is a perfect opportunity. I've been wanting to just make a whole topic ragging on Pokemon for a really long time, <laughs> and I finally have an opportunity to do so. But before we get into that, uh, we have to thank some people. Razzle Jazzle, thank you for the 22 months. Luke Antone, thank you for the 33 months. Hey, Bob, I'm still looking for a monitor, so is there something specific in 4K monitors that I need to get 4K from a PS4, like HDMI or something? You need HDMI 2.1, my guy. But is it kind of expensive to get a 4K 120 hertz monitor? So if you want to do less than 120 hertz, you're kind of fine with just a 4K 60 hertz monitor that's not HDMI 2.1. Uh... But if you want 4K, 120 hertz, if you want everything out of your PS5, you're going to need an HDMI 2.1 monitor. Uh, Sony just came out with some that are actually reasonably priced. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are there even any games that hit that spec yet, though? Yes. Um, Warzone. I had no idea. Yeah, it's been doing it the, the basically since version? launch. That's wild. Yes. Basically That's since wild. launch, it's been doing it. Not a steady 120, but it does. it gets up there. Uh, mm. there are games that do steady. I think Fortnite might even do it. Um, wow. and you do notice it when it does do it. You notice it's 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 looking nuts. I've been playing I games. Definitely, I have a I, Series X. Yeah, I don't have a 4K. I have a 1440p monitor because I didn't think any games used the 4K 120 hertz. The 120 mm. hertz definitely noticeable. I right. couldn't say anything about the 4K. Yeah, once you get to like 1440p, 4K, I mean, m a lot of these games are upscaled to 4K. So it's like 1440 mm -hmm. rendered and then upscaled or maybe even right. less than that. So you, it's really hard to to, to, to notice uh, the frame rate you notice. And it's the law of diminishing returns. The higher the frame rate, the the, the less you notice. But yeah. playing a game at I, I just recently experienced playing a game at 240 hertz. And my, mm -hmm. my brain exploded. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Alec is baking. Thank you for the raid. How you doing? How you guys doing? Uh, what up? What up? Uh, RP, thanks for the 100 bits. Wow. Oh, my God. It's the kings of New York's <laughs> underground <laughs> retro gaming culture. Now, that's oh, a that reference. was the raid message. That was the raid. Message. Oh, that's the raid message. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a reference to uh, me and Will are doing Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. Yep. Um, 
and they tweeted, they've changed the game and reinvented how we view retro in the world of modern gaming. <laughs> the kings of New York's <laughs> underground retro gaming culture, the Wolfden, return to their home turf once again this August 12th to the 14th. Okay, and what's... I feel like underground retro is redundant. <laughs> is that just me? No. No, I mean, underground is we is a weird is just a weird word to use mm -hmm. underground retro then it's not redundant that's two different words I feel like retro is already like that's already implied i think well retro is it's like a niche yeah <laughs> so like underground you're saying like it's a i mean it's like saying it's niche retro like like the niche of retro like the underground retro mm -hmm. or maybe maybe they're implying it's we're even more niche than just they're the retro. King, yeah. They're the kings of the retro community that nobody knows about. Yeah, is that the, what, the, the, the under underground, the seedy <laughs> underbelly of the retro community is these guys. Fair anyway, uh, Nick, Nick Avocado, whatever, says, uh, with the 19 months, hello, everyone, hello. Riley with five gifted subs. Thank you very much. How you doing? Cronkersaurus was 17 months. Thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, I thought I was going to argue with AJ about how Pokemon sucks and I hate it now, but uh, I think mm. he's pretty <laughs> he's pretty much yeah, on the same think, page. I don't think there's a huge argument there. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I think that I'm more optimistic than you are for sure. Okay. Um, but I don't disagree with the idea that currently in its form, it is not as good as it should be. Um, and before, like when we were starting this and brainstorming the topic and stuff like that, I pushed back on the now thing. And that's <laughs> yes. more because I think that Pokemon is better than it has been forever. Um, now, now, but, now you, you probably, you definitely have more experience in that regard because mm, I, yeah. I had a you long, in and out, you're, yeah, you're I like, had a long stretch where I just yeah. did not play the games at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for me, right, like you, you have, and like me too, like I, my first Pokemon game was red and blue and yellow and all that. Right. I also come from gen one, but the difference is like, it hooked me and it's not even the game. Like we're very similar in the sense that like, we are both like very, like, I wouldn't say anti RPG. Cause we wouldn't like see somebody play an RPG and, and like shit on them for it. You know? Oh, I, you um, don't know me then. I mean, like, you, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, I, you and like, you had Kevin Kenton on here, right? Like, and you were like, like, shitting on him because he likes RPGs. Um, <laughs> That's but, because I'm yeah, afraid like, of Kevin Kenton. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> like, it's not, it's not what I would prefer to play. So, like, right. as far as like Pokemon's gameplay, it's never been something that like I'm like, oh yeah, Pokemon. I love the minute to minute of this, but I love the world. I love the character designs. I love the idea of what they, th what they're setting up, right? Yes. Um, the games are just a means to an end, and I mean that's a lot of why I like Smash Brothers a lot because Pokemon trainers in it, and it's like, yo, this is way closer to what I would want Pokemon to control, like, right? Um, it's it's, it's I, a Pokemon game that feels good to play. Could you imagine right, that? Exactly. Exactly. It's crazy. Wild concept. <laughs> um, but I will say that for what Pokemon is and has been, like they do improve or, and have been improving what that means. It's just that people's expectations for what Pokemon is have grown because I feel like a lot of people that are on this bandwagon are not bandwagon. I think it's a bad way to phrase it. Um, a lot of people that feel this way about Pokemon that it's not growing fast enough, blah, 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 are more like you where they dip in and out. Um, so they're playing other games. They're like, yo, right. th th like, how come the fucking Xenoblade can be like this or, or Kingdom Hearts or whatever fucking RPG that you play, right? Um, and then you play Pokemon and it's like the same, more or less, gameplay wise, as it's always been. Well, uh, it it I feel like Pokemon is always taking like a very very like tiptoe forward, yeah, where all these right. other games are taking leaps and bounds forward, changing things up. Pokemon feels like uh it's the it 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 feels like they haven't done much it, uh, since friggin' twenty years ago. It feels like they're still doing these like weird archaic things that like don't need to be in a video game anymore, like these these complex menus 
uh, going through 14 different uh, 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 menu options just to get a Pokeball out to throw at a Pokemon. You know, like like weird, just weird things that like the community plays these Pokemon games in a totally different way than the Pokemon company expects them to. And they're not adapting to the way that people are using their games at all. That's how I view it. I think that like Pokemon players that play every game, right? And and to be fair, I think that l- like most communities, people that are a part, like a dedicated part of the community view the game differently from everybody else, right. which for the most part is going to be the bulk of who plays your game. Like even something as big and well-known and consistent as like Call of Duty, right? Like people that play Call of Duty are not the 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 bulk. And I mean like play it every year, buy every game and stuff like that are not necessarily the bulk of who is making up those sales. Like a lot of game sales are a revolving door and Pokemon and Nintendo properties in general are like even more so like that where you're you're, um, you're saying the casuals are making up the the majority of yeah who, the of, casuals of and the for game. pokemon right, specifically right. yeah the casuals and for pokemon specifically there's a new 10 year old every year you know what i mean <laughs> like those are the people that are buying this game right um it's it's not necessarily like the me's of the world that's buying every pokemon game and i understand right. that and I, I i think that that that's also a different part of like where i where i'm at where it's like I occupy this space of like I agree with you that the gameplay of Pokemon and like the the like the the uh, resources that they put into it and all that stuff is not as good as it should be. Um, but I understand what it is and what it's trying to be. And also, I don't necessarily like that either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, well so so, um, so I I'm I understand that like uh, majority of Call of Duty sales is going to be casual people. Mm-hmm. Uh, a majority, a, a lot of people who play it professionally, maybe they use like, uh, I don't, let's just, for example, assume that everybody who plays it professionally uses bumper jumper. They like map mm-hmm. the control so that the bumpers are what jumps. Uh, right. I don't think that warrants Call of Duty changing the control scheme. The default control scheme. Yeah, because right. that's only like the top level players are going to do that. The casuals aren't going to want to do that. But mm-hmm. you have something like Pokemon where... All of the, you know, people who are playing it uh, uh, professionally, in hard quotes, are, like, fast-forwarding the whole game at all times. <laughs> They're holding the fast-forward yeah. button. Like, something like that, you can take a little nugget of that and implement it in your game. I'm not saying the game needs a fast-forward button, but, man, you gotta speed up some of this garbage stuff that that mm-hmm. we don't have to deal with. Like... Every single time I want to try one of these little portable emulator things, I want to try Pokemon on it because I know a lot of people are interested in playing Pokemon on these little portable emulators. Why the fuck do I have to go through a 30, 30 minutes of the professor talking to me every single time I want to load up a Pokemon game? For the 10 year olds, dude. <laughs> Give me an option that says <laughs> I'm not 10. I've right. played this but, game before. But here's the problem with that, right? We a lot of our YouTube career has been talking about Nintendo, who is a very Japanese company that is yes. not Sony, where it's like, oh shit, the majority of our money comes from America. We're gonna Americanize. Nintendo's like, nah, fuck that. We're Japanese, and we're gonna do it how we want to do it. And it's it's the Splatoon thing of like wanting to be like a five course restaurant where it's like we serve you what we think is the well designed version of this thing, and you deviating from that can soil the experience and make it something different that we didn't intend, and so on and so forth. Are, are you um, trying to say that, that Japanese people like to read and Americans don't? <laughs> no, I'm okay. saying that that Japanese developers are uh, traditional Japanese developers, not really the the uh, the new guard, because the new guard is like influenced by the gaming industry as a whole, right? Mm-hmm. Because it goes through phases where it's like originally like gaming was like a largely like American thing with like Pong and like all that all that shit right and then japan came through with like jrpgs and stuff like that and then that and mario you know and that took over i've heard of that um right exactly (laughs) um so it's like this cyclical thing so it's like as like america has their turn and like call of duty is like the biggest game in the world and stuff like that japanese players are seeing that you know like these people are playing these games and growing up with that and wanting to become game developers informed by that right Mm -hmm. um but for nintendo like they're way closer to that like traditional we give you the experience that we see fit and you also have to look at the fact that like pokemon was like its inspiration was 
Dragon Quest, which for the longest time was we're, we're the traditional RPG. We're going to stay that way. While everybody else changes to action, we're staying turn-based and blah, blah, blah. They're just now on Dragon Quest Twelve, being like, eh, maybe, maybe that's not what the majority of the world necessarily wants. So, so, so um, you're you're giving me the reason it is the way that it is, not mm -hmm. defending. W yeah, no, why it's not. like that. No, okay. yeah, no, no, because I don't <laughs> just think it make should it be short. That way. <laughs> right, right, right. Because I don't think it should be that way. And I, and again, for the majority of the time that I've been yelling about stuff on the internet, <laughs> I've been yelling that Pokemon should be better than it is, and people <laughs> have, uh, like dogpiled on me about shit that they have changed and people love it now like mm -hmm. i can't tell you how many negative comments i've gotten because i was like yo this random encounter shit let's get it out of here <laughs> like what what does this contribute to the game and people being like that would ruin shiny hunting you could never shiny that would ruin the whole experience shiny you hunting is shiny way hunt better you know when get. you see it's what it's <laughs> way more sick it's way more sick because they're, they're they're like oh it ruins the anticipation you know how much more hype i am when i'm walking and i see in the distance it's a fucking shiny rattata or whatever the fuck i'm like oh <laughs> this is shiny over there so it's like it just adds another step of like oh yeah. shoot i should i see that shiny i need to go over there and get that and then you walk up to it and it's like oh shoot i need to catch the shiny and then you catch it and it's like oh shoot i caught the shiny you know yeah. like it just adds more steps to how hype you get um, I, 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 I think, think when they were adding stuff like that, I mean, what, the first thing I remember them adding and people getting pissy about was uh, Let's Go when they had the catching mechanic be different. And also they, yeah. they had they had overworld Pokemon in it. And that, yeah. that also that's when people started to get started to freak out. Um, mm -hmm. And people just seemed like any change in a Pokemon game would ruin the, the, the I, I don't know, their yeah. their nostalgia or whatever, like the way right. that the, they like the games the way that they are, and if you change it, it's not a Pokemon gonna... game if it's not like that. Yeah, but that's not how you innovate. It's not, yeah, no. Yeah. But they don't want you to, like, like these fans, and again, like, this is the vocal minority, you know, it's like the, the people that are going to get on the internet and scream about again. It's like this second, third degree of separation of like, you're, you're a rare breed of people that's going to watch a video about a random dude yell about what he <laughs> likes or doesn't like about Pokemon and comment what you don't like about what he doesn't like about Pokemon on the internet, right? So like, right. obviously, that's not the majority of people that are buying this game. But the people that are the loudest about it are like, I don't want it to change. I want it to be the same that it's always been, but somehow different. You know, it's like you, you yeah. have to find this perfect middle ground of like change just enough that I feel justified in spending the uh, whatever amount of money I feel justified in spending on this game. Because, you know, nobody's happy about spending $60 on, on Pokemon. <laughs> um, and I don't think that'll ever really change, um, even if it becomes this Breath of the Wild level. They're, thing, they're, they're selling. They're selling uh, more and more, right? They're still yeah, selling yeah. Uh, like an insane Pokemon, amount, even well, though the games have been subpar. Right. Um, which, again, I'll push back a little bit on that. I do think, like, in the grand scheme of things, Pokemon games compared to other games, for sure subpar. But I do think that Pokemon games get better than what Pokemon games have been. It's just our expectations are so much higher now because it's on a, a, a home console. And so what, people, what for are, whatever reason... What are the worst hmm. ones? Uh, I think the worst one's Gen 1. Like, objectively. Like, there, there's just a lot of shit in Gen 1 that just doesn't... Like, it's straight... Like, Ghost-type straight up doesn't work. You know, like, <laughs> stuff like that in the game is, right. like, completely objectively broken. Um, and I'd say, I'd say, like, Pokemon is one of those games that continuously does get better. It just doesn't get better fast enough. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they... Like you said, they, they baby step. And you can't Was really see the... Uh, was there an area in the middle like uh everybody I'd loves black and white so so i'd say objectively like in terms of like on the technical level and all that stuff gen one is the worst pokemon game but removed from that i think gen four is the worst pokemon and i mean that like including brilliant diamond shine and pearl um and that's just because the balancing of it in terms of like the pokemon you can catch the pacing of the story and all that stuff is dog shit is, um, is that is gen four Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. Oh, okay. That and Brilliant uh, Diamond, Shining Pearl. Also, Brilliant Diamond and Brilliant Diamond is bad. I did not like. That. Yes, it's terrible. <laughs> I had a game. very like, bad time playing that game. Right. But what I'll say is, what's bad about it, and what people on the internet will tell you is bad about it, are two different things. Like the new additions to Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, 
is the best part about it. The thing that's bad is that Gen Four is bad, and you can't polish a turd. You know, like that. Like <laughs> it's a remake of a of a terrible game. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, yeah, it it didn't even feel like a. It felt like or they copied remaster. and pasted it's a lot a of stuff. More, it feel it like feels it. like a remaster, yeah. but they did port it into like a they, new it, engine. It, but it feels exactly. like they copied and pasted it. I don't understand. They had right. they must have built it from the ground up, but they it like sure. they they copied way too much too closely. I don't right. know how it's they like, made it, but it feels like they they copied and pasted it and then went from there. Mm-hmm. It's it's like uh, Pokemon Company handed them uh, handed Ilka <laughs> DSs and was like copy like do exactly this. Mm-hmm. We want to okay any type of changes that you want to make, and if you're trying to make a change, we're not going to okay it. So don't even try. <laughs> it I mean it's uh, it, it's built in Unity, so I feel like mm. they just took a, they probably just took a ROM <laughs> and like did some shit to it to like put it in Unity and then yeah. fix some stuff. Because there's some mm. weird bugs that like, uh, that feel like were a port issue. Like the fact that you like uh, move diagonally and it like breaks parts of the game. Like yeah, like the and how the uh, the D pad versus the analog stick works. Like that, that was another yeah. part of it that was weird. Yeah, something feels off about the way that it like actually plays. But I guess mm. if that if Diamond was your first Pokemon game, I bet I I I, I bet you're you're gonna love. Uh, I know so point. many people that prior to this game, for, to be fair, uh, that are like in my age group, like, you know, my friend Lee, mm-hmm. Lee loves Gen 4, loves it. Okay. And th- again, a lot of people around my age, like that's their favorite gen, because it's like one of the first games that you played and like you were fully cognizant of what's going on and you didn't have to help no- have nobody help you read <laughs> and all this shit. Um, so it's like it's like your first experience of like playing Pokemon and, and understanding everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but removed from that, I think it's terrible. <laughs> and I'm very I'm very like uh, like on the opposite end of nostalgia. Like, and I, I think that's like rare for like Nintendo YouTubers or whatever. Cause like so much of Nintendo's fan base is like based on nostalgia. But for right. me, it's like, I go hard in the other direction of like, if a game is bad now, it's bad now. <laughs> I don't care about the, the, it was good for its time. Sh- I hate that. That's my yeah. least favorite phrase. <laughs> it's like, if it's bad now, it's bad now. We could just say that. Like Gen- acknowledge it's bad. <laughs> Gen one is my favorite because Uh of the nostalgia but i recognize Mm. that it's buggy and there's things that just don't work and that that Mm -hmm. they fixed but i'm not willing to admit that the other games that fix that are better because they have other problems um i'll say that i think except for like fire red baby i bet you that (laughs) exactly that's what i was about to say i think that it's it's less a thing that you and this is usually the case with a lot of remakes that people don't acknowledge um i think it's less that you love pokemon red and you love kanto and the pokemon from kanto and stuff like that i i i Um, i love the design of everything that's right and 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 the way it's structured i don't necessarily think the game mechanics are the best which is yeah, usually exactly. what falls apart in older games is the mm-hmm. mechanics yeah. that have gotten refined over the years. But right. we've had Pokemon for fucking 25 years, over 25 yeah. years, mm-hmm. and it feels like the mechanics are still not where they should be. Yeah. And I think a lot of that is because they're listening to the to the vocal fans that are like, Do we want it to be the same. Um, right. the, and in fairness, to like... Um, to to their credit, they do look like they're actively trying to change that, but they're having a hard time figuring out what the balance is and how fast they should change what. I think they should just fucking nuke everything and, and, <laughs> and say, uh, I don't care about the turn-based thing. Like, what do people love about the world of Pokemon across the board in every media? Because Pokemon is this huge, multi, multi-billion multi dollar property, right? Um, and Pokemon is a is more than just the games. And for most people that give them most of their money, it's not even the games, you know? like That's the, the, the thing, biggest, like, is, is that they have the, the games should be the main thing. But yeah. everybody like like they 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 can make so much money on so much other stuff. It's like it. I, mm-hmm. I always equate it to uh, Marvel and comic books. Like the comic right. books are where they get all of the ideas of what makes the stuff. It's it's the backbone of the whole industry. But they treat those like dog shit and give them mm-hmm. almost no money in to focus on the movies. 
Pokemon right, to, doesn't uh, really have the movies. They have the they have the anime and stuff, but, but but it's really anime. the merchandise. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Because even though like symbolically that's true, it, that that doesn't mean that they have to invest more money in it. Like if they're if they're able to make so much more money off of all the other stuff by mm-hmm. investing the bare minimum in the backbone, they're going to do that. Um, yeah. I think that they could make more money. Uh, investing more money in the games, right? I, I'm not but, saying they need to put I, more money in it, but they need to. I, 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 I am saying that. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, because I don't know how much money they're putting into it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, they could be putting a lot of money into it, just in the wrong places, you know? Yeah. I, but they, they need to make better games. The, the, yeah. Whatever they got to do to make the games better, they got to make the games better because people are going to start falling do- off. They're not going to make new 10-year-olds that are lifelong Pokemon fans if they keep shoveling out garbage. I think, I think they will. Um, <laughs> but, but, but for me, a, a, a very close like comparison, and the thing that I do think is fair for a lot of people that, on the internet that I think go too far with it, is Zelda. Like Pokemon, Nobody, nobody is going to give them credit for this, but Pokemon's trajectory is pretty similar to Zelda's like they they have like the 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 same moments in time that they have their biggest shifts line up pretty safely like Zelda was 30 years old before we got Breath of the Wild mm-hmm. Pokemon's not 30 years old yet <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> like it had its Ocarina of Time moment and like when it first went 3D on the 3DS and now it's like inching towards its Breath of the Wild moment 25 years well in. well I think Poke uh, well I, I think Zelda games when they release they're pretty much universally loved and then yeah but Pokemon yeah, not I so much I just mean like in terms of like the the uh progress they made in terms of gameplay like they Pokemon very much so is reactive like Pokemon was developed and like uh planned around being a Dragon Quest like mm-hmm. um and then they moved from there and they're like okay very co- closely like associated with what Dragon Quest does at the same time too where again for a long time Dragon Quest whole like um uh like marketing was around being everybody else is moving to, to being not turn based but we're out for the classics and we're going to stay turn based and all that shit right now they're not that anymore <laughs> um so we'll see if they react to that and then they do give us what people are saying they want. Because, like, even though they're, like, very clearly, uh, like, influenced by Dragon Quest, I think what people want from from them is closer to, to Breath of the Wild. So, I mean, well, Zelda. Um, so I think that they see that and they try to give people bits and pieces of that, but I, still stay true to, like, what I, their influence is. I think the That's difference the is... Uh, Zelda can take a lot of time between games and they can mm-hmm. yeah. they can change yes. things a lot and they add a lot more mechanics and stuff. And right. po- Pokemon is now a yearly franchise and they they're yeah. shooting themselves in the foot with that. The the funny thing is it's, like, it's almost always been a yearly franchise. Mm-hmm. There's there's exceptions, you know, like they took some time off between uh Gold and Silver and uh Ruby and Sapphire. Um, and then I think the the next biggest gap the next biggest gap actually was between uh, Sword and Shield and Gen Nine in terms of like because we had the year where they just did the DLC and they didn't do any major game releases that year. Um, I don't know if it was like COVID related or anything like that, but the 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 timing of the marketing and stuff like that seems like they wanted to drop. Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl, and Arceus all in the same year. Yeah, but they yeah. ended up doing Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl in uh, like the end of 2021, and Arceus at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. With that pace, we went. We straight up wouldn't have had a Pokemon game um, for a year, and it's been a very long time since that. And I mean, like a Pokemon game period, like not not even like a Pokemon Stadium sort of situation, uh, which is rare. When when. I remember when Sword and Shield was dropping, everybody was pissy about the way the trees looked and how it, because everybody was expecting a main, a home console Pokemon game to look like yeah. Breath of the Wild. And right. we were on the defense being like, it's Pokemon, it's going to be good anyway, who cares? And I played mm-hmm. through all of Sword and I liked it. And then I got mm-hmm. the DLC and I was like, maybe I didn't like it. And I played both <laughs> the DLCs and I was like, I think I didn't like it. <laughs> I like changed I'll my say, mind on I'll it. I'll say I think the second part of the DLC specifically 
is better than all of every Pokemon game ever. <laughs> And by wow, opinion. Like, I think yeah, I think well, well, well there's like there's like after there's like there's like post game shit in the second yeah. DLC, right? Yeah, I, did, yeah, I don't think there, I even there, touched any of that stuff. There's the Dynamax Adventures, and I think that's the most fun shit that they've done in and since Pokemon was created. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like there, there's so much uh, game time in playing Dynamax Adventures. Okay. Like that's my go-to. If I just want to like chill out on the stream, I'm like, yo, everybody, let's do Dynamax Adventures and hunt for shinies and shit. Like it's dope. Okay. Yeah, I I didn't get to that. I just wanted mm -hmm. to do the story and then dip and uh it just really didn't hold me. Yeah, um, the story part is like really fetch questy. I don't I didn't Yeah, it got it got worse in the DLC too. It was yeah, a lot. It I mean, was very I'm fetch questy. Yeah. DLCs, yeah, specifically the DLC is super fetch questy. And then we got Arceus, which changed a lot, but in my opinion, not enough. <laughs> I agree. I think that, and and like when I was playing Arceus, and I knew this coming in, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is a stepping stone for them. And it's very obvious to me that this was like them alpha testing for profit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I mean, I mean that in the best way. They I mean need to that do that. The best way possible. Exactly. I mean that in the best way possible because, like, I like the game for what it was, but I, I do think that, like, it's not a Pokemon game that even the most diehard Pokemon fans, unless you're like super big in the shiny hunting, because they just give shinies away for free, basically. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of replayability in the game um, because the game kind of already incentivizes you to use every pokemon so there's not the whole like replayability of like i'm gonna beat the game with this team and then i'm gonna beat it again and use this team instead the game like forces you <laughs> to mm -hmm. use a little bit of everybody um so like after you beat it the first time it, it feels so tedious playing it further you know also, and that's coming for me, somebody that likes playing Pokemon games over and over again. I can imagine replaying it is just a slog because it yes. ha I, I just I just bitched about how the games take 30 minutes to like let you have a Pokemon and go out in the wild. Mm -hmm. Arceus, it's got some of the best ideas in Pokemon. It has mm -hmm. the, the worst intro to a Pokemon game, I think, out of all of the Pokemon games because it takes mm -hmm. four fucking hours to go into the open area. Yeah. I'll say that that's especially true for replays. Like, yeah. for me, the first time I played the game, I didn't really care about the tutorial because I wasn't playing the game like the game wanted me to play it. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I didn't go through and say, okay, I'm going to check off all the boxes. I got in, in the area where the game was like, okay, you can do kind of what you want. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go catch it, and I'm going to go mess with the mechanics and see what happens when you dodge this. And what's this hitbox like? And all that shit, right? Just messing around doing dumb shit. Um, and, like, slowly inching through the, the tutorial at my own pace. So it didn't really feel like something I had to do. Um, I think when you're replaying it, it will feel like something that it's going to be a chore because it's like, all right, let me get to the game. I already know all yeah, that. Yeah, I know stuff. how to do all this stuff. I got to just <laughs> yeah. mash A for, for four hours to do, to do right. a stupid thing. And and I appreciated the way you play the game where it's it's still like turn based, but you have the open area to like run around and stuff. Uh, I loved all that stuff. But it was burdened by the same issues I have with all the other Pokemon games. The weird mm. UI stuff. Some elements just don't make any sense. The way that things are buried in menus that shouldn't be, be that should be a button. Uh, what do you mean? The, like throwing a Pokeball. See, there's like this, two. There's that, two that buttons. Part, there's there's that, at least two buttons every time you want to throw a Pokeball. Yeah. It should be like a gun. It should be bang. I threw a Pokeball. But that's what it is. It's like a gun in Call of Duty. It's you aim and then you shoot. No, but th there's no button to aim. You just aim. Yeah, there is. It's ZL and then you press ZR. Nah, get the fuck out of here. It's not That's the same. That's how you do it. That's not the same. <laughs> That's your error. You have to it's go into error. a menu to pull the fucking ball out. No, you don't have to go into the menu. That's what I'm saying. You because the it. menu's there. Because the menu's there. There's a menu on the that. screen, but there's still multiple buttons to, to hit the freaking thing yeah, just like aiming and shooting in a, in a shooter it's not the same <laughs> because a thing happens when you aim a thing happens 
Yeah, the thing happens when you aim the Pokeball. Yeah, the menu, the menu changes. Wow, that's so yeah, fun and, and engaging. Because the reason, the reason why it does that is because you can throw the Pokeball or a Pokemon. So it's like either you just you uh, switch to the 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 like the I guess menu <laughs> with the Pokeballs <laughs> that you have, and then the Pokemon that you have. Which yes, is, I will say that is a perfect system because there has been a lot of times where I actually threw a Pokeball when I meant to throw a Pokemon and vice right. versa. And that's annoying. Um, there, should, but, there, there are a lot of buttons on a pro controller. They could yeah. just make it another button. A a button. Yeah. yeah, you could throw a Pokemon with one button or throw a Pokeball with the other button. The, the Pokeball should be like a trigger, like a gun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess they want you to be able to play the game with a sideways Joy-Con or something. They want to have it as little buttons as possible. I don't know if you can do that in this game. Can you? Oh, yeah. I don't. Our Pokemon games. I, like, I like, never try. I'm not a fucking sociopath. Um, Pokemon games, like, force <laughs> you to Pokemon use, games, yeah, uh, like, yeah. a weird... They force you to use a specific controller, basically. But I, I, well, like, I like some of what they did with, with Arceus. I just think there's a lot more they could have done to streamline it and make it feel yeah. more like a modern game. I agree. The, the, a lot of Arceus, where for me, Breath of the Wild, right, the reason why I love that game so much is because it tells you no almost never. Um, for Arceus, it tells you no a lot. <laughs> uh, and the one of the first moments that I, I like that come to mind with this comparison is I saw the thing about how it's like, oh, you feed your Pokemon berries to heal them or whatever. Like that, that's what you do. And I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. dope. So I freaking was like, okay, I wonder if this works. And I threw out my Cyndaquil and then I threw a berry at him and I was like, eat it. <laughs> and he didn't eat it. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like in Breath of the Wild, he would have ate that berry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that That's yeah. something that takes you out of the world. Mm -hmm. Like Arceus is the Breath of the Wild of Pokemon games, but like. It feels like a jank knockoff <laughs> because like certain things just don't mesh the way that they that you would expect them to in a modern mm. game. And they have moments of flow. But I think that parts of that also get fucked up later in the game. I, do we care about spoilers for mechanics in this game? No, uh, do, all right. I most certainly so, do not. Will spoiled so like a like a movie last week or something. <laughs> he like straight up just blurted out the end of a movie. All right, people that give a fuck mute for like three minutes. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's the there's the ride Pokemon that you get right, mm -hmm. um, and the ones that they market like in the beginning, like the the uh, Basque Legion and the Brave Yari and um, the uh, Weird Ear, they all flow perfectly together. But you get two other ones that break that entirely. <laughs> And it's so dumb because it's like they don't really add much to the game, especially nothing that they couldn't have done outside of that, whether, whether it be just letting your trainer do it or like giving the one of the Pokemon the ability to like because one of the Pokemon that you get can walk like climb up walls. And mm -hmm. for whatever reason, unlike the other three Pokemon, they don't seamlessly transition into each other. You have to like physically walk up to the wall and press A and then it changes you to that Pokemon and then you, matter of fact, I'm not even sure you can just walk up to the wall and press A. You might even have to switch to it first and then walk up to the wall and then climb up it. And then when you want to switch again, you gotta jump off of something and press A to go in the Braviary and blah blah blah. Like it doesn't seamlessly flow into each Pokemon with those, with the Sneasler and the Urshi, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, the big bear man. You, you yeah, want it. And, you want it to be more like Breath of the Wild, where like you get all these abilities and you can chain them together to do cool shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just so that it feels more natural, I don't have to go through a fucking menu to right. climb up a wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. No, I completely understand that. There was other stuff in the game that I felt like. Uh, was it that game? I don't. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. You want to be mm. able to like just have the freedom of movement in this yeah. game based on movement it feels like mm -hmm. uh it's a it feels like it's a game of just cool ideas that were never tested <laughs> yeah <And laughs> they never actually that, played the game they just threw it out underscored there underscored my theory that i was like this game is going to be an alpha test and it was an alpha test yeah <laughs> um i hope they they implement on it is, right. is my main thing like at this point 
that's all I want from Pokemon is I want them to try to get better. Like the best case scenario that I think is unrealistic because just like if it ain't broke, don't fix it to a certain degree is I want them to just fucking disappear for five years and work <laughs> on the best game that they've ever made. Right. Five um, years is they, a long time. Yeah. But like Grand Theft Auto does take that long, you know, <laughs> so like true. And I think that Pokemon is uh, a, a, a franchise befitting of that type of investment, you know? I, I honestly um, think they just make bad decisions. And yeah. it, it it shouldn't, it really shouldn't be that hard to, to, to fix the problems that they have. They just need a good, uh, uh, I don't know, director? Or <laughs> just a friggin' somebody who can, who can handle user experience? Yeah. How do we how do we um, feel about uh, Scarlet and Violet? I think Scarlet and Violet, from what I'm seeing, like bare minimum, it's gonna be fun in the way that I think the DLC is fun. Where uh, and, and it's kind of like the shit that the game that you wanted to play for a little bit, the uh, the MMO. Like they they like modded it so you can play the first five gens with your friends and right. stuff like that. Like right. bare minimum, this is gonna be a four player co op Pokemon game that you can play with your friends. Like that's enough for me to be like, this is the, the like I'm playing this. Period. I'm not um, I'm not convinced it's going to work. I I am very skeptical of how that playing with friends is gonna work because there's so much of Pokemon that could break with that happening. What do you mean? And 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 Pokemon loves to force you to do things in a very specific way. So like, what's gonna happen when you are with four with three of your friends and you run into a trainer? It looks like from the trailers, um, that it's all around those like mini gas stations, and then once you meet up, you can fuck off and do what you want. Like the. It, it looks very intentional in how they marketed this game where it's like there's two trainers that are specifically from Scarlet and not saying that this is like the requirement or whatever, but it looks like they did this and a like Smash Brothers, everyone is here, show Snake to be like, oh shit, everybody really is here kind of marketing thing. Right. Um, they showed two Scarlet trainers and two Violet trainers to like underscore like this person is doing something entirely different from these other two people that we're going to show features for. So there, there's the part of the game where they showed the uh, the like the trading and the uh, the battling feature like that you could trade with your friends and stuff like that and then somebody else is on a complete different part of the world and they're catching a wild Pokemon and somebody else is battling a trainer you know so so, so, so wait like, you're saying you're saying if we're playing together and mm -hmm. I run into a trainer you mm -hmm. will be in a different instance you might not necessarily yeah. run into that trainer right okay I mean, now the I kind of just I like don't... playing games with people. So like yeah. playing, yeah. even if we're playing our own instances, being in the same world together and playing adjacently sounds really cool. I will continue to say, I don't think, I think something's going to be fucked up. <laughs> I will. don't think it's going to be the way we want it thing. to be. It's the whole monkey's paw thing. But I do think that it will be better than you think. I don't think it will be perfect. But I think it would be better than you think. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see what the fucked up part of it is. I think I, that what might be the fucked up part is I'm scared that they're going to force you to like play together against like gym leaders. That I'm scared of. Like so, I don't so want it to be. I, I like hear that. I hear a lot of theories like that. I hear theories that thing. like that like you will play, fight trainers with people. They, you, there's theories that all of a sudden the trainers will be a doubles battle if you're playing yeah, with a friend. I which yeah, I don't sounds like, that. like sounds like they're not going to develop for that. The thing is, like, I would want the option for that mm -hmm. because, like, you know, my friend Youth, um, she wants to play or she's being forced to play. She has to play now <laughs> uh, Pokemon and she doesn't know what the yeah. fuck she's doing. So I want the option to be able to be like, OK, you can't beat this trainer. I got you. I can help you out. And we'll both battle the trainer together and we'll just steamroll the trainer. But I also just want to not have to, like when I'm playing with her for her to have to battle if I'm trying to beat somebody, you know? Like, yeah. I want to have the option to play by myself or with a friend. I don't care if they allow you to battle a gym leader with a friend, but if they force me to play against the gym leader, if my friend is in there, I'm going to be tight. I, I suspect they're going to take some some notes from the Dynamax battles where there's four people versus one Pokemon, and mm -hmm. there yeah, might be and that's some... that's the thing that I'm like, ah, I don't want that. 
Well, there might be now, some there, areas where you will be able to play with multiple people, and there will be trainers right. that will have like you know two v two yeah, like and if stuff it's like, like boss that. Pokemon and stuff like that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, there might be areas where it's better to play multiplayer. Um, but I I don't know how it's going to work to play the whole game like like this. I suspect things are are going to be weird, and I'm hearing theories that like. You'll just get into a trainer battle, and then they'll turn into it'll turn into a two v two, or like you go want to catch a Pokemon, and you could just gang up on the Pokemon, which sounds like that's. Just I'll say it wrong. doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like it that. doesn't have. The, there's no. The that we for. They don't show anything in the trailers. They do. They do. They sh they show like, you. I, they show yeah, you so th with with like a guy, and then they just show a regular battle. No, they they show you like they they show the whole sequence of like you meeting up with your friends mm -hmm. and then they all fuck off and disperse and disperse <laughs> and then they see what you see what they do along the way and then you even see two of those same trainers meet back up again and then uh... they train so, like that's what I'm saying like it, it looks very intentional of like they've shown like legitimate gameplay and sequenced it in ways that like you can only assume is like well duh the okay. only thing that we don't know for sure is what it does with gym leaders so so, so this this sounds the, like it's just a regular pokemon game and you just see other people in the overworld uh i think it's more involved than that because again like you this two people walked up to each other and traded with each other <laughs> So I don't well, I don't know. Well that what. that's right but but you could do that in a regular Pokemon game. You just won't be able to you just can't walk up to a guy and do it. You yeah, have to go through yeah, a menu. Yeah. Which is right. which solves one of the issues that I yeah, have. Exactly. But, that's what we don't want is the menus. But, <laughs> but I but it's not gonna change anything else about the game. It sounds like the game is just gonna be a regular ass Pokemon game with uh with, with is, people walk around the overworld if they're friends with you. The thing is, like, the most that I want out of this game and, like, the co-op experience is it for for it to be the anime. I, like, I don't <laughs> give a fuck if, if one of my friends is just Brock and he just cooks for me every once in a while and I'm the one getting all the gym badges and stuff like that. I, like, I, I think uh, being able to play the game alone together, al like, just that, mm -hmm. like, bare minimum expectation makes it infinitely better. Than I, it, I, I'm, than I'm not mad about that. I'm mm -hmm. just setting other people's expectations because I've heard a lot of dumb theories about mm -hmm. what multiplayer means for, for this stupid game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give it a try. I have just ground floor expectations for this because I've not liked a lot of you what I've been burned playing. too much. I've been burned <laughs> too much. I just I need a lot of this game to be streamlined and I just don't think it will be. I mean, hey, playing with friends seems to be. I won't have to yeah. put in a freaking code to, to It's to, death to by do a it. thousand cuts. They 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 inch at uh making things more streamlined. Like they just now and Sword and Shield made it a thing where uh you don't have to get the explanation of how to catch Pokemon or go to a Pokemon center because mm -hmm. it does the Breath of the Wild thing of like, oh you did this already? All right, well I'm gonna say shit. <laughs> Good. All right. Uh when's it come out? November 18th? That's so long. I know. Well, uh, I hope it's better than what I played before. Uh, that's all we got to say about Pokemon because we talked about it for an hour. And we have a lot more Ooh. things to talk about. Um, I also want to thank Josh Torre for the six months, Kronkosaurus for 17 months, and George McFarlane with 16 months who says, Yo, Bob, just hit a 1,000... Just hit a thousand subs on YouTube and got approved for monetization. Very hyped. I'll watch, be watching this tomorrow, but I just wanted to come in and say hi. Well, hello, George McFarlane. Congratulations. Uh, spend be. spend all of the money that you make on YouTube on uh, equipment. Because the better the equipment, the better the videos. Right, AJ? <laughs> of course, obviously. Uh, Clockworth Clone. Thank you for the two months. AJ, defending Pokemon Poggers. Uh, that's what I thought was going to happen, and it didn't. So... <laughs> <laughs> Um. Anyway, let's move on to talk about multiverses. You've been playing it. I have not. Is it out no, or is it a beta? I haven't. I so we did the whole thing. I I don't know. Man. Have you, you not touched it? I'm I'm going to get into that. So okay, okay, okay. We did we did the whole thing with with Wood and Jackson. 
It seems like they're 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 trying to tippy toe out of that. So I don't know if I should play it or not because the whole thing was supposed to be that neither of us were going to play it. Right. Um. But I did play the tutorial and then I did a few matches so that I can unlock Bugs Bunny because you can't mm-hmm. just fucking unlock whatever character you want at the beginning of the game. And I want to play Bugs Bunny. Uh. So I played that much and I was like, okay, I'm not touching this game in case. We do do the thing, but I my, Ex- my explain the thing. Story, explain the thing. So we're supposed to fight uh, Jackson and Wood in a two v two team battle. With the 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 whole thing being that during the closed alpha or whatever they played it, they the, and and Wood tried to undersell how much they played it. Like bare minimum, we know for a fact that they played it in two streams, and also he did a fucking video about it. <laughs> <laughs> so they played they played it a few hours at right. least, bare minimum. Um, but the whole thing is like we're just gonna go off of like our Smash fundamentals and probably fuck them up versus their experience with the video game. <laughs> right. Uh, and I'm super down. I uh, honestly also haven't played it because I uh, think the game looks terrible, first of all. Uh, but also, yeah, I thought we were going to stream it. And I thought it was going to mm-hmm. be, uh, was it supposed to be last week? Uh, so when we talked about doing it, Jackson said he had a work trip or something like that. So was I was week. like, well, we can we can do it after the closed beta. I mean, the the open beta starts and that's now uh so i think that the game's just straight up out now like it's in beta but i think the game's just out so we can do it whenever does it cost money no it's a free game yeah it's a free game and where the money comes in is you could buy characters and skins but you can also get characters at least i don't know about skins but you can get characters just by playing the game okay interesting uh I was gonna ask you if it's any good because I honestly think it just it it it's given me Nicktoons vibes. Nick From Maloney what vibe. I played and saw of this game, I think it is more close to being Nick to like Nick All Star Brawl than it is to being Smash Brothers. I'll say that much. Right. Um, but I do think it is a better game than Nick by a decent amount. Okay. Like it, it does look like they give a fuck <laughs> and that they put some thought into the mechanics and like the animations and all that stuff. Uh, from what I played, again, this could just be because I didn't play a whole lot to like learn the mechanics and stuff like that. It feels super mashy. Like it, it, it feels like just everybody is flailing their arms and nothing feels like uh, tight. I, I hear and the hitboxes are random. That's what it seems like. I I didn't look into any of that. Um, I so I, I, I think one of the say. one of the things with Smash is I mean first of all it's developed so well, mm-hmm. but like the hitboxes in Smash it's 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 a it's a how do I put this it's a side scrolling game, <laughs> but it's three D game it's three D, <laughs> so the hitboxes are three D. Yeah. So there's some weird shit that happens where like some moves like pass through other moves, but for the most part, everything's pretty much fluid and works fine, and you don't mm-hmm. even realize that the hitboxes are 3D. Um, right. And I feel like that's really, really hard to accomplish. And the mm-hmm. developers of multiverses had no idea what they were getting into. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think, like, just platform fighters in general, I think people look at Smash and they're like, oh, this game's simple, you know? Like, because they, cause they, they're, they like, either playing it with, you know, people that are also bad at the video game or, you know? So it's like, oh, it's just you flail around and you do the thing and then there it is. Yeah. Uh, but, like, there's so much depth to Smash Brothers. It's so, like, fine-tuned and intentional. Yeah, and they have 20-plus um, years of development. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so. This game does not feel like that. <laughs> I'll yeah. say that. So who who should I play as? I think you should play as Shaggy if you're just going off of like uh, so. your play style because he's kind of Falcon esque. Mm-hmm. So that's what I thought. I see he has a knee. Mm-hmm. He does have a knee. I'm down. Uh, outside of that, I don't really know that much about Shaggy. I know he can like go freaking Ultra Instinct. They got the Dragon Ball Z thing going on with Shaggy. Um, 
from what I saw of like why I went to, which to be fair, when they announced this game, I was like, yo, I'm playing Tom and Jerry or Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Tom and Jerry looks like a DeBuzz character and that's cringe. So I said, no, I'm not playing Tom and Jerry, but Bugs okay. Bunny is hype. Bugs Bunny is a W. <laughs> he looks, he, I saw a clip today of somebody just absolutely rolling through, uh, uh, three stocking with no just a flawless three stock on somebody as yeah, bugs just he, i think it was he's ridiculous yeah it was a uh, it was like a ground pound and then like an up smash and then the rocket just took him and then just did oh, that three yeah. times yeah the rocket's nuts and then it's like it's like so this game is weird because there's no ledges there's no grabs there's no shields well there's grabs because there's like command grabs some characters that like superman i think has a command grab okay um but if you're on a wall you can like ride the wall up and the rocket is a wall like iron giant even is like he acts as a wall unless he's crouching so like so, if, so, if so you can wall in, jump is that what you said yeah yeah so like say you're on the same team as an iron giant <laughs> And you guys are both off the stage and you're to the Iron Giant. Like, you're facing the blast zone with the Iron Giant coming towards the stage. You can, like, wall jump up the Iron Giant to get to the stage that way. And Bugs Bunny is similar in the sense that, like, if he uses his rocket, you can jump up the rocket to help you get back to stage. That's ridiculous. And there's like a lot, and that's the thing that I'm most interested in trying because this is something I haven't done at all. Is the two v two? I think that that is what can make this game cool and like worth playing. In addition to Smash, like I, there's no way I would drop this game to play Smash. But like, if the two v two is consistently fun enough, I'll play this game. Like, I'm down. They added more characters. Uh, yeah, LeBron James. <laughs> yeah, which is nuts. <laughs> which is a real, I don't know if you know this, a real person. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the, uh, so the Hungry Box? He posted this thing of him speculating about LeBron James or whatever. And he was like looking at the quote unquote frame data of LeBron James. <laughs> oh, <games>. yes. <laughs> he was like, it's dunking, it's 18 frames. Yeah, and he, he said know, every like, video he saw of LeBron James dunking, the dunk was 18 frames long. <laughs> Which cannot possibly be true because the videos have to be varying frame rates. <laughs> yep. That's nuts. But uh, also Rick and Morty, which I didn't know until I saw this just now. See, I don't think they're in the game yet, are they? I think they they, they I've just only added seen LeBron. LeBron James. Yeah, I think they just added LeBron James, but they announced Rick and Morty. Uh, basketball legend LeBron James, as well as Rick and Rick Sanchez and Morty Smith from the popular animated series Rick and Morty, will join the roster. James will be sporting his look from Space Space Jam, a new legacy. Mm -hmm. A gameplay share trailer shows off LeBron, uh, uh, and he'll be in it when the open beta launches on July twenty sixth. While Morty will be available when Multiverse Season 1 begins in August. So I guess the Season 1 is straight up when the game launches. Yeah. So the this open is beta the starts the 26th. Oh, the 26th is today. today. Yeah. and uh, He's out. <laughs> LeBron he's James out. is the thing. Yep. But apparently the game was broken today. Uh, a lot of people couldn't get in. Oh, okay. But that happens a lot with games like this. So. Oh, there's a leak. The following yeah. characters are mostly finished. Uh, we got Joker. Raven, Gizmo from the Gremlins. That's pretty <laughs> sick. Um, Marvin the Martian, which is also pretty sick. Scooby Doo, uh, Daenerys. Did, how do you say the game? Oh, from, this from Game of Thrones. Yeah, the Dragon Lady. I don't Dragon know. Lady. The Hound from Game of Thrones. Wicked Witch. Weird. Uh, I hope it's the Looney Tunes witch. <laughs> and Godzilla, which is also crazy. Great. I saw so there's like a lot of people posting these like I don't know if they are leaks or because like one of them uh hungry box posted and it got taken down so I don't know anyway there's a leak um but some of the characters that I saw people floating around and I'm like yo I'd play that character I'd drop Bugs Bunny for them is fucking static or the Powerpuff Girls mm -hmm. like if the Powerpuff oh. Girls are PT if they're PT I'm playing Powerpuff Girls <laughs> so okay wait hold up like, so that the ones I read were the ones that are mostly finished claims mm -hmm. the leak. Then there's more that are uh, 
The following list of characters are also reportedly planned for inclusion, but in the early stages of development. Johnny Bravo, which sounds awesome. Fred yeah. Flintstone. I don't understand how that would work. Samurai <laughs> Jack also sounds awesome. The Powerpuff Girls, all one fighter. Yo, if they're PT, I'm playing them. <laughs> that does sound good. The Animaniacs, all one fighter. That might be good. That, yeah, that could be PT, too. You know, that might be even more PT because they're like varying sizes. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Duck Dodgers, Daffy Duck. Oh, Duck Dodgers slash Daffy Duck. So I think, I think it's just Daffy, but he's also Duck Dodgers. Um, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, which sounds plausible That's because nuts. it's it's Warner Brothers. Uh, ben 10 doesn't make any fucking sense, but I guess like <laughs> uh, every move will be a different yeah, character. I, yeah, that's what I would figure. Like his like his smash attacks or whatever is like a different alien. And Ted Lasso, is that who I think it is? Yes. Is he, <laughs> is he like uh, HBO Max show? Yes. Or, or no, he's like an Apple Apple Plus or Apple, Apple TV. TV. It's, it's an Apple TV show. It's the yeah, sketch. It's the mustache man. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. That's I. These are some these are some good characters. I yeah. I I like the the list that they. That this is a leak, so none of this is confirmed. But uh, mm -hmm. it's a very interesting list. I I am I want to play the game for the characters alone, which is kind yeah. of how I started playing Smash in the first place. Same. So, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I do think the game looks pretty bad. But uh, I agree. <laughs> I would love to play a fighting game as the Animaniacs or the Powerpuff Girls. That'd be so, sick. I'm, I I I want to do this idea where we two v two. So do uh, I. But I'm see. I'm scared. Less so because of Wood and more because of Jackson. Because he chickened out the last time that he he started the beef. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> so wait. Uh, it comes out the first. Um, the uh, season, the first season, yeah. Let's 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 try to play it down. I'm down. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, try to try to shake things up over in the group chat. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, any notifications? BB Retro with 23 months. Bob, you finished your Switch article for the book yet? Uh, the book is the Retro Dodo book. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it. But I did a chapter on the Nintendo Switch, and I did finish it. Nice. Did, are you? Aren't you doing a? BB Retro's doing a, a. No. BB Retro's doing a thing. But are, are you just doing the the photos, or are you writing a thing? I, I nobody hit me up for that. Not you. Not know. you. BB Retro oh. is is doing a. He's involved in in some way. Oh. oh, it's called a handheld history. Just photos. Oh, okay. You made me. You got me scared. You got me thinking. I have more work to do but i i i sent Dead it off like <laughs> i uh gave it to them uh a while ago i did miss the deadline a couple times but so did kevin kenson so i didn't feel so bad <laughs> um anyway clock work clock worth clone thank you for the two months aj defending pokemon oh i read that already uh switch update there's a new update for the switch Yay. You can uh it's it's now 14.1. Uh there's going to be so much in this new update. Uh following uh, following on from uh Switch Online mobile app update earlier today, it seems Nintendo has now rolled out another rebootless update for the Switch firmware. I didn't know they could do a rebootless one. Nintendo data miner Oatmeal Dome, our, for, our favorite data miner has once again revealed what what's going on behind the scenes keep in mind that unlike regular updates these ones are silently installed so you don't have to do anything on your end and they usually don't have patch notes they usually and if they do it's usually like it's usually like stability stability yeah, yeah. uh so here's the rundown of this new update uh the bad words list was updated additions a racial slur for Japanese people. Oh, no. <laughs> Various misspellings of Hitler and a sexual term. And then iCloud.com and Outlook.com. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, because so people put their, can't put their emails. 
uh, so it's actually HTTP colon slash slash iCloud.com. What the heck? So I think those are usually used in, in phishing scams. Like those are emails mm. most associated with phishing scams. So mm -hmm. uh, some this that's a security issue. Um, you can see the original patch notes uh, in the previous post. Okay, what's the actual patch notes then? Did they have patch notes? Uh, general system stability improvements. <laughs> um, I want to know the dirty details, though. I want to know the various misspellings of Hitler and, and the Japanese racial slur. Oh, my. <laughs> nope, can't find it. I probably don't want to have it on screen anyway, so never mind. Yeah. That'll be something I'll look at in my, uh, in my off time. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's it. You gotta, you gotta look out if you're doing too many racial slurs in your <laughs> on on your Nintendo Switch. They'll always you find anymore. a way. You're gonna have to have an old Switch if you want to keep doing those. Uh, anyway, uh, let's talk about Microsoft and NFTs. Specifically, Minecraft. Oh, boy. Minecraft owner Mojang bans in-game NFTs to discourage profiteering. Uh, I want to get right to the quote. Uh, to ensure that Minecraft players have a safe and inclusive experience, uh, blockchain technologies are not per permitted to be integrated inside our client and server applications, nor may Minecraft in-game content such as worlds, skins, per persona items, or other mods be utilized by blockchain technology to create a scarce digital asset. Uh... According to Mojang, some companies have created NFT implementations that are associated with Minecraft world files and skin packs. The studio also suggests that there could theoretically be Minecraft collectible NFTs or that players could earn NFTs by doing things in Minecraft on a server or earning them outside of the actual game. Uh, did I miss a quote? Integrations of NFTs with Minecraft are generally not something we will support or allow. So the original, the first time I saw this, I originally thought it was uh, them saying they had no interest in NFTs, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, they have like in-game items and stuff, but they thought uh, uh, making them uh, super scarce and like yeah. real world valuable didn't align with their uh, the goals of, of the game, which makes mm -hmm. perfect sense. But also on top of that, they decided that like blockchain technology just doesn't, it just doesn't like make any sense. They could just tie it to your like Minecraft username if you wanted a mm -hmm. if you wanted a, a a specific item to be tied to you. It doesn't have to right. be tied to the blockchain in any way. It could just be utilized. Mm -hmm. They could just utilize their own stuff, which games have been doing for for years. Yeah. But it seems yeah. like in this case they're taking it a step further and they're saying that people are already using NFTs for stuff inside of Minecraft worlds, and they will ban those people and block that stuff if they nice. see that shit go down. So Nice, as they should. That's an interesting take on on, on that. Uh, and then there's more. They said, uh, after Minecraft says no to NFTs, NFT worlds vow to make its own game? What? <laughs> the NFT-based Minecraft platform, oh! <laughs> there's a there's a whole website for Minecraft NFTs. Uh, they're gonna make their own game because you know what? They probably have a little bit of money and realize this ship is sinking, so they gotta do something with it. Mm -hmm. uh, NFT based Minecraft platform said Mojang now new NFT policy has no regard for creators, builders, and players. Wow, maybe they do, and maybe you don't. <laughs> Mo Yang made waves yesterday when it said in no uncertain terms that NFTs are not welcome in Minecraft. Good news for gamers, perhaps. Okay, that's a weird way to put it, PC gamer. But not so much for anyone who has already... Oh, that was good news for... Okay, I understand where PC gamers come from. That was good news for gamers, perhaps, but not so much for anyone who has already committed to uh, incorporating blockchain technology in the game, like, for instance, NFT Worlds. Quote, NFT Worlds is a fully decentralized, fully customizable, community-driven, play-to-earn gaming platform where world owners 
can create their own limitless metaverse games or experiences for players or exclusive communities within their worlds. What a what a great, concise, and easy to read pitch for their website. <laughs> Currently using Minecraft and its sprawling open source ecosystem, NFT Worlds builds on the backbone of a decade's worth of open source development within the Minecraft community and rapidly expands on it to enable an entirely new types of 3D voxel-based decentralized gaming metaverses <laughs> backed by Ethereum blockchain. So they're, so they're going to make their own fucking game. <laughs> yeah, man. We're, you know, there's something I want to say, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> we're creating a new game and platform based on many of the core mechanics of Minecraft, but with the monetization and active development Minecraft has been missing for years. What has this multi-billion dollar company been missing? <laughs> this is not a rewrite of some open source Minecraft clone, which likely would violate the EULA the EULA, or still risk legal action. This is entirely from the ground up. This transaction will add additionally come with a public facing brand identity change that is more player friendly. You're calling that player friendly. What Minecraft is currently doing not player friendly. You're calling NFTs player friendly. Yeah, but that's their whole thing. Like their 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 whole marketing is like, we're for the players because we want to make the players rich by somehow convincing other players to buy stuff from them. Yeah, so like the idea is that uh, it's better for players because uh, if you get an in-game item, it's tied to you and its value is always tied to you. Right, but which that... makes no sense when you have no control over the game that you buy the asset in. <laughs> Yes, it, it, it's there's two there's two problems. The one is that yes, you don't have the the control over the game at all, um, and you're it's assuming a couple of things. It's assuming mm -hmm. that the that people give thing, a fuck. <laughs> it's assuming that the item is going to have value, mm -hmm. uh, and it's assuming that that's it having some sort of value is better for you. Mm -hmm. and better for the game which isn't necessarily true it, yep. it's 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 at all all these fucking buzzwords that they come out with are just a way to confuse you and to to make you think that uh uh it's to trick people into into giving the people who create it's these things more money quick scheme. Yeah. yeah yeah it's a pyramid scheme yeah. get rich quick scheme and a pyramid scheme for, for yep. because all you people who think that it's worth it will buy into it and then you won't make any money and the people on top will yes it, it just every yeah. dollar you lose is a dollar they gain yeah i, I i've been every time nfts get brought up I, I i have to mention that there's ways to have players value off of the rare in-game content there's ways to do it. There's ways people have been doing it, and the blockchain doesn't help in any way, shape, or form. It, 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 mm -hmm. It's supposed to make it a public domain so that people can see the the the, the history of the digital item and where it's been and, 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 and who it's tied to and stuff. But that public domain is regulated by like uh like two or three super rich companies <laughs> it's not mm -hmm. like this like robin hood story right and people have already manipulated that public domain and it also doesn't matter it doesn't matter they could develop that into the game it doesn't need to be on a blockchain and you I, I use csgo as an example all the time they've been just fine the way they've been doing it with digital items they don't need to have uh uh a platform like this it doesn't it just doesn't right. make any sense so i i think that uh yeah, Minecraft has the right idea to, to just keep the game clean of any of this bullshit. True. Uh, hey, we're talking about Discord right now. That's a fact. From my Xbox. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Xbox now has Discord integration, or it's getting it. They announced that they're, that they're, that's happening. 
Uh, connect cool. your worlds. Discord voice chat comes to Xbox consoles for Xbox insiders. What does that mean? Can you use your connect? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be awesome. Uh, all your does friends and communities in one place. I, I, think, I, I think it needs an adapter, but I think it does. Mm. Uh, all your friends and communities in one place. Get ready to connect with your Discord friends and communities on Xbox. Discord voice chat is coming to your Xbox Series X and Xbox One consoles. You will be able to chat with anyone on Discord via voice channels or group calls directly from your console, making it easy to connect and blah, 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 blah. When is it happening? What's ahead and how you can jump in. Today's update will start to roll out to select Xbox insiders and will uh expand to more in the coming weeks oh, oh if it, xbox insider is like their beta program mm -hmm. i think i think you needed it to do the halo beta did you i think so so oh wait you're, a, if, you're an insider <laughs> if you'd like to help create the future of xbox and get access uh download the xbox insider hub which i'm pretty sure i needed to do to do the uh the halo thing uh so if you download the halo beta you might have uh the beta for discord which would have been awesome for when i was playing uh warzone but i'm not really playing it anymore yeah it i mean it would have made it a lot easier to play with people on on xbox than people on pc yeah um i mean so i, I think this Go stuff ahead. is always weird for me. Like, I I see no, and it, I understand it's because it's like a extremely specific thing to me, um, and people like me <laughs> that like I, if I'm playing games, I'm at my computer anyway. Like, right. I much rather use this microphone and the, the whole setup than to use a shitty Xbox mic. You know, so, so like the, the the thing is though, like like yeah, game it, audio. It, it's it's a weird thing for us to wrap our head around because we're content creators and we're yeah always making gaming content and we're on right. Discord all the time. We're right next to our computers when we play our games and yeah. stuff. It's it becomes apparent to me that something like this is necessary when I'm playing with a normie, like mm -hmm. when I when I am like playing with like you, like we're playing mm -hmm. a game and it's like oh let's get Greg in here. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, wait, I don't have my computer. I'm playing on my TV. Oh, <laughs> shit. Well, and then they got to, like, do something with it. They got to do that thing, like have the, the headset that splits the audio between the phone yeah. and the TV. Yeah. And, it's, it's, and sometimes the TV audio is just on and they're using their phone. It's, it's, a, it's a nightmare. So, uh, and it is a little complicated to have an audio setup where you're in a Discord call on your computer and playing the game on your console at the same time. Right. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's like the most easy way for me to understand it is the game audio like that specifically like that is a one-to-one -one thing because like i don't even i'm not even perfectly happy with how i do it and that, i just open Streamlabs and <laughs> listen to the audio through that yeah that's not um, that's not a good way to because there's yeah, always a, no like a idea. half second of a delay. yeah like a little bit of lag yeah yeah that drives me absolutely insane um, i don't understand how people play it through that like the game audio is whatever for me like would it be in that little bit of lag but the like people playing the game especially mm -hmm. like an all like a smash sort of situation that's wild people like, don't play games competitively like 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 that like like if i'm if i'm playing something like uh like a war zone or a, mm -hmm. a a mario game or like a smash brothers i will instantly know when a lag when lag is happening or when yeah. there's input lag or when there's an input lag or even but i even feel it with sound cues if there's a sound mm. cue that's off when i'm playing mario maker I'll, I'll lose my fucking mind for me it doesn't really bother me that much because like for smash i use the the rumble for cues like okay. that's how i got so good at parrying is because it's like oh i felt my controller move let me drop shields mm -hmm. um the audio is like it helps but not that much okay uh people might think they heard about this because over a year ago maybe more than that xbox announced integration with discord but it was just so that you could see what game people are playing in discord it wasn't yeah. th we thought it was the full integration but it, it wasn't also a year ago uh playstation uh bought a big stake in discord yeah, I saw a lot of people memeing about this. 
I I memed about it because like PlayStation is uh they don't play nice with anybody. They they seem to be like the yeah. like the stick in the mud. Like not like they don't want to yep. do anything. And they own a huge stake in Discord, and Xbox still is the first console to have Discord on it. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> but I think this is uh, only great news. It'll be better quality for people to use this. It'll be easier for a lot of people. A lot of you guys who watch these videos and the gaming content probably have Discord already, but I bet your friends don't, and it's probably a pain in the ass to play with them. So this will make life a lot easier to to play games with people True. and it'll make discord more popular mm-hmm. uh next naughty dog drops 10 minute gameplay trailer for the last of us remake i didn't watch this and uh you know what i don't give a shit i'm deleting it i don't give a fuck about nothing about this game <laughs> <laughs> this, they should have never made it <laughs> i i don't know how i feel about it i kind of understand why they made it but uh, that's money. <laughs> that's it, why they made it. It is definitely a money thing. Uh, I do think there's a generation of people who have not played the original Last of Us, and I think it's a masterpiece that they should yeah, definitely play. Yeah, but you play it on the PlayStation Five anyway. I it know just won't it cost them seventy dollars. I feel like I need to re. I feel like I need to play it because uh, there's people who speedrun the original Last of Us, and they say that there are mechanics that need fixing that that were fixed in the Last of Us Two. Um, but I can't imagine that game felt like a masterpiece when I played it. Uh, the game looks almost exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. So I really don't know what else they could. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to play it unless they, there's like significant changes, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's talk about. Jedi Survivor toys. Did you play uh, the last Jedi Survivor Fallen game? Order. Yeah. Uh, yes. What the, the last Jedi <laughs> Survivor game? <laughs> that's that's the. Oh no! Wait, Jedi is Survivor that what their franchise is called. No, now? that's this. The franchise is called Star Wars Jedi. Uh, I thought. So, oh yeah, true. That makes sense. That makes it, sense. Survivor is the new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's Star Wars Jedi school. colon Fallen Order. That's what the yeah, last. I never, game was I never even pieced that together. I didn't know that that was the col- where the colon was. <laughs> I didn't piece that together until this game came out, or or the the news about this game came out. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, now we know what Cal Cal Kestis looks like. Spoilers: uh, He looks like this. Wow, that is an ugly toy. He looks well. He looks like a, a shitty toy version of what he looked like before. Maybe his hair is a little shorter. That looks like a straight up handgun in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's got a beard. I think. Yo, he has the Falcon gun. Can he take the gun out? He can. The, the last crazy. picture in the slideshow is uh him holding the gun. Wait, can he can? Can he use a gun in the other game? I don't remember a gun. <laughs> I don't ever remember seeing it. But but you know what? In in uh, Jedi Outcast games, you you it's a first person shooter. You use a gun. So I am. I have not played a Star Wars Jedi game. I have not played that game. I, like I it. am. It has a laser sword. I'm very tempted to uh, get it on Steam to play it on Steam Deck. I'm very tempted. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to wish list it. I'm going to put it on my wish list. <laughs> uh, okay, what's the point of that? Um, it, it just alerts you when it goes on sale or something? Yes. Is that the reason? Okay. Yes. Gotcha. I have... Is it uh, not on Game Pass? I feel like that's a Game Pass game. It's, it's totally possible. But I want it on my Steam Deck. <laughs> Do you not play Game Pass games on your Steam Deck? Only streaming. Uh, if, if you have the dumb. wherewithal to install their ass backwards mm. weird terminal command yeah. version of Game Pass. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, that's dumb. I'm gonna look it up right now. I, I'm so I've I've I'm a huge Star Wars fan that has fallen off recently because I've not liked a lot of what's coming out, and I really hate when they just 
add Jedi that ha- that after the the purge when they just make all these new Jedi because it yeah. completely negates everything oh, that like Obi Wan and Luke did. <laughs> it, is, it is yes. Uh, but this looks really, I, from what I've seen, it looks like people love it. Everything I've seen from it looks a lot of fun. And I've seen some, uh, I, I just, I was watching freaking uh, like the opening cut scenes the other day on YouTube. And I was like, this actually looks pretty good. My standards for Star Wars are pretty low. If, if they're laser swords, I'm down, dude. Sign so me I, up. I was gonna wish list it. But it is fourteen ninety nine on Steam right now. Oh, I mean, you can pick it up. <laughs> uh, I'm getting it right now. W. So, uh, I mean, that's, I, I guess that we know what the toys look like, but it really doesn't show us anything about the game. So, your credit card information has been declined. Oh, no. Wood spent all the money. <laughs> All right, we'll be getting this later, and we'll figure that out. <laughs> oh, I think I, I put the wrong freaking security code. Now won't let me fix oh it. Oh, my God. Oh, anyway. Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yo, what about him? <laughs> We're getting PC features. Remember that game? Remember Spider-Man? The, P- the PlayStation yeah. game? Well, guess what? It's yeah. on PC. Yo, you can play baby. it on your Steam Deck. You can play it on your Steam Deck. <gasps> I, I can play it on my Steam Deck. I have it on PlayStation, though, so I won't do that. Yeah, uh, but you can't play that in the palm of your hand. True. It makes me want to double dip a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much of this game did you play? Uh, I played, I beat, I beat both of them. The first okay. two games. Yeah. I didn't play enough. I played like six ish hours of this game. Let me tell you, Bob, I turn my PlayStation on once a year, and this was two of the games that I turned on my PlayStation 4 during those years. <laughs> Did you play Stray? I it dusted my I, I played a little off. bit. Of, I, I, I got my PlayStation out of my attic, and I played Stray on one stream. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll probably finish it. But I have to finish I have to it. Say, like, the fact that you're a cat is hard carrying this game. Because like <laughs> everything else about this game, I hate. <laughs> like if, if you weren't a cat, I would hate this game. But you're a cat, and that's pretty cool. It, how, you're not that far then, right? You played it in one. Yeah, stream. no, I'm not far. I'm not. It far. gets a little better. It makes you want to finish it, but it's not. Mm. Everybody's kind of blowing the game out of proportion. I spent most of my time during the stream being like, "Where the fuck do I go?" <laughs> that's the whole. That. That's the whole game. It is unfortunately mm. one of those games where you walk up to people and you talk to them and then you do the thing that they want you to do Mm -hmm. um but they keep adding they'll i mean i don't want to say they add mechanics because all of the mechanics are just pressing one button Mm -hmm. but it it makes you want to see the game out to the end though that that the, the more you get into it uh for the first three hours or so you're holding forward and pressing x yep anyway uh PlayStation 5 game now available on uh uh PC. Uh first off, let's touch on the graphics newly on the PC version. Uh My favorite part. <laughs> our goal was to make the game's vis- uh, a visual stunner on PC, uh which is crazy because it was a visual stunner on the PlayStation 5. True. Uh ray traced reflections are available across the game for those with hardware that supports them. Reflections also have varied quality levels, one of which is a new higher quality ray traced mode that offers even more city detail when web slinging and fighting crime in Marvel's New York. Uh, so one of the issues with going to PC is that you have all of these different uh, pieces of hardware to develop for. So PlayStation 5 is a PlayStation 5. You know, every, mm-hmm. I, you could develop the game for the PlayStation 5. Everyone's going to have the same level of quality in their in their, in their their ray tracing. In their textures. <laughs> yeah. So now they have varying quality levels of the ray tracing so that I guess they could have better than PlayStation 5 and worse than PlayStation 5. Uh, NVIDIA mm-hmm. DLSS, Deep Learning su- Super Sampling. You might remember DLSS from everybody's fucking uh, Nintendo Switch Pro videos. Yep. Um increases graphics performance using dedicated tensor core AI processors found only on GeForce RTX GPUs boosting frame rates with uncompressed image quality. 
NVIDIA DLAA, Deep Learning Anti-Aliasing, is in AI-based anti-aliasing mode for GeForce RTX gamers. Okay, so if you're a GeForce RTX gamer, you're going to fucking love this. Um, beyond choosing output resolutions, that's something we didn't see on PlayStation 5. <laughs> we also support a wide range of display ratios, including ultra-wide. This is actually a huge deal. Pan- ultra-wide 12, uh, 21 by 9 or panoramic 32 by 9. That's a very big monitor. 32 by monitor. 9 is fucking nuts. <laughs> Can I get a visual representation of what that looks like on screen? Holy shit. <laughs> That's insane. That's... Spider-Man's going to be such a small little sliver on that screen. I kind of want I want to I hope there's a demo. I kind of want to try this. I have a, do I have a 21 by nine ultra wide? I think it's a 21 by nine. I mean, that sounds that awesome. That seems like, that seems right. I never heard 32 by nine before though. That's fucking ridiculous. It's like having three monitors. That's crazy. Uh, if you got three monitors, we've got the game for you to show them off with. <laughs> so I guess if you have three <laughs> monitors, you can stitch them together. That's pretty freaking sick, which is crazy because PlayStation five, Pretty sure it still can't do 1440p. Yeah. Many yeah. other rendering systems are more customizable than they have been in the past with additional quality levels and algorithmic options. These include SSAO, texture filtering, LOD, quality, shadows, and more. Uh, we support windowed, full screen, and exclusive full screen rendering modes. Uh, so basically, uh, if you want to play Spider Man, in all different wacky uh, uh, quality levels and all different aspect ratios and, and frame rates and, and 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 aspect ratios, you 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 come to the right place. Seventy dollars on PC. <laughs> you can experience thirty-two by nine, fourteen forty p at a billion frames a second, and it will for sure be seventy dollars. <laughs> Oh, it's, it has a Steam page. 50, 50, $59.99. Oh, it's the normal price game. What happened? Was Spider Man remastered? $59.99 on, uh, on PS5? Uh, I, I you fucking got me. Because it's, it's a PS4 it on game. PlayStation 4. <laughs> yeah. But then they remastered it. Well, it would make sense because, like, they had that whole thing because, like, their marketing is terrible uh, where they said that you would be able to, like, play the game across the board if you got it on PlayStation 4 or whatnot. And they're like, hold on, but we're, we'll lose uh, money. <laughs> so then they, they made you do the upgrade thing and stuff like that. But then they kind of went back on that. So it would make sense if it was fifty nine ninety nine. Oh, didn't it come I think the, like, in Miles Morales or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But only the PlayStation 5 version of Miles Morales, I think, was the thing. Right. I'm, it's all coming back to me. There was like a whole controversy of what happened. But they ended up fixing it in the end, I, I believe. Anyway, uh, Peel, thank you for the three months. RP, thanks for the 100 bits. Spidey can do a backflip on PC now? Crazy. Uh and Sarah, thank you for the Prime subscription. Uh, let's blast through some play, some VR news. There's a MetaQuest 2? Wait. Is it called oh. the MetaQuest? I didn't know it was called the MetaQuest. They changed the name to the, to the MetaQuest, which is a terrible, stupid name. Yeah, that's dumb. The Oculus Quest 2 is now called the MetaQuest 2. It's a great VR headset. I got it when it was called Oculus Quest 2. Now it's MetaQuest. It's very annoying and confusing. The whole reason they... Wait, is it the same thing? It's, it's the, the same, same thing? thing. It's the same thing. I thought it was just a new thing. It's not. It's the same thing. The, the Oculus Quest 2 is literally just called the MetaQuest 2. The boot screen is different. It has the M now. Uh, the, the whole reason Facebook changed their name to Meta was so that they could have like like alphabet like how google has alphabet yeah they could they could have an yeah. umbrella of companies so why the yeah, fuck wouldn't they keep this company oculus i don't know they they They're they they, <laughs> they devalued the name oculus they said meta our name meta or facebook or whatever 
is worth more than Oculus, which was wrong. That was bad. I think the thing about, like, it, it's kind of like, it feels like the reason why they did Meta is because the brand recognition for Facebook is terrible because people hate Facebook. So, so like, yes. But, but Meta, but, I think, was them trying to sidestep that. But it was already called Oculus. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, 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 I think their reasoning here is they want to create the metaverse and they want to, you know, I make it mainstream. Yeah. They want to make Oculus a mainstream thing. Oculus was already fine with gamers, but now they want to, yeah. you know, and, and maybe that was off putting to normies. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. but I don't think meta is going to help. I think it's just going to make gamers mad and it's, and it's going to be no different to normies. Wait, so they increased the price for this. That's what this article is about. They took the, the Oculus quest Two, slapped a meta on there. And now it's a hundred dollars more. That's crazy. Uh, almost two years on the market, and now Meta is officially increasing the price of the Oculus Quest Oc, uh, of the Quest Two fuck mm. VR headset. <laughs> uh, beginning August first, the 128 gigabyte storage configuration for the Meta Quest Two will cost four hundred dollars. Previously three hundred dollars, which was a great value. Now it's a mm. worse value. Uh, while the 256 gigabyte model will now retail for four hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. Meta also confirmed that starting August 1st until December 31st, those that purchased a Quest 2 will receive a free digital copy of Beat Saber. Wow. How much does Beat Saber cost? I feel like you could probably get that for like 20 bucks. If I, not thought, that I thought it was a free-to-play game with microtransactions. Oh, my God. That's even worse. <laughs> for the time being, the Meta Quest 2 is still available at its current price at numerous retailers, see Amazon and Best Buy. So if you were thinking of getting one, get one. It's kind of crazy they're increase. Okay, well, it's not at all available on Amazon. I don't know what they were talking about. Maybe a bundle? I'll say it is worth getting the uh, Anchor Charger. So if they have a bundle with the Anchor Charger. And people say the, the headset strap. There's like a new headset strap you should get. I'm fine with the regular headset strap. Um, I feel like the VR... And even the for me personally, even the Quest 2's original price was it needs to be an impulse buy for me to want to mm -hmm. even fucking care. <laughs> and four hundred dollars is not an impulse buy. Like that, that's like that's a console. You know what I mean? Like if it was yeah. like two hundred bucks, I can spend two hundred bucks and not give a fuck. Once you get past that, I'm thinking about it at least a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I I do you think know? the <laughs> I I think the Quest 2 is worth a solid i think 300 dollars is a really good value for what you're getting with with the oculus mm. quest 2 and i'm still going to call it the oculus quest 2 um <laughs> it, it is available on best buy for 300 uh the amount of games you can get on it the fact that you don't have to plug it into anything it's it's freaking awesome even if you're just going to show it off to your friends uh but 400 dollars is i think that's I, the whole idea of raising the price of something that's been Three hundred dollars for two years for yeah, a budget dumb. thing is fucking yeah. absurd. Yeah. Take the take the hit. Your your Facebook take the hit. Uh, Meta cites inflation as one of the reasons for the price increase, oh, writing right. the costs yeah. to make and ship our uh, pr products have been on the rise. By adjusting the price of Meta uh, Quest Two, we can continue to grow our investment in groundbreaking research and new product development that pushes VR. Uh, blah 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 blah. But you know what never happens? The inverse of that. Like, when they make more money, they don't charge less. <laughs> True. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it's ridiculous because it also... Im this also implies that they're not making a three anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Like, they're like normally around now, you'd start to see them go on sale because they need to make room for, a, for another version. But uh, this seems like they're like, we're not... We're having issues... The next one's gonna have issues. Like, 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 I don't. Are they selling that that many? Like, are they doing that well where they can just raise I the price like that? I would be shocked if there's more than five million of these in circulation. Mm -hmm. I would be shocked. Uh, well, VR is very popular. It's getting more popular. Uh, okay, I don't know about saying it. it's popular, but it's getting more popular. <laughs> so yeah, popular, it's getting more popular for sure so popular playstation 
is making a second one. Mm-hmm. I will say I did like the PlayStation VR when it came out because it was the most accessible way to play VR games. Uh, in hindsight, absolute garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Not so very good. My, my last like experience with VR was when I went to Full Sail. They had this VR studio situation where they have all the fucking VR stuff. They even had like the Microsoft Hollow Lens, like when it was like the pre-alpha or whatever the fuck. And I tried all the things, and PlayStation VR was like, I mean, if you have a PlayStation, it's accessible, but it's definitely not anywhere near like you know like the Vive and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, that said, I wouldn't have bought any of them. <laughs> so after after using the quest to everything else feels wrong like 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 you can get like better even quality the, the vibe and stuff like that. Oh, i haven't used that. anything like that to be honest with you okay. uh mm-hmm. the quality is going to be higher uh, if you spend more money and, uh, mm-hmm. and get something with higher resolution or whatever but having such a small headset on your head and having mm-hmm. nothing tethered to you at all and you just pick up the headset and turn it on and everything's just there nothing can compete with that yeah, uh, I agree. So PlayStation VR ups the quality like a lot, but you mm-hmm. got a cable going to your PlayStation Five. Mm-hmm. The pl- the original PlayStation VR had a big old box. I think this circumvents that, cables. and uh, it was a mess. It's a mess to set up. It's a mess to store. Uh, but mm-hmm. this seems to circumvent a lot of that stuff. I hope. Anyway, we got new details. Basically, just UI stuff. You can see it like maps out the room, which I think the quest kind of does that. You have to like map out your little play area. Do you know area. how much this costs? I don't think so. Uh, this looks ex- actually this looks exactly like the quest, but the original PlayStation VR didn't have this. You, you couldn't map out the the play area and mm-hmm. like have this little cage. Like the quest will yeah. yell at you if you're gonna punch the wall. Like it, it'll mm-hmm. it'll be like, hey, you're getting you're starting to get close, buddy. Um, and I guess that's it. it. Seems like they're just taking cues from uh from Oculus. Um, but the resolution is a lot higher, uh, which I don't think this article says. Uh, it's got oh, look at all those cameras. The head that the 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 controls look a little over designed. It's like these spheres. Oh, it's the PlayStation Five. <laughs> That's a good they're point. On, they're on track. That's a very good point. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, in VR mode, players can enjoy VR game content in a 360 view in virtual environment. Content will be displayed in 4,000 by 2040 HDR video format. So that's 2,000 by 2040 per eye, Ooh. which is very big. It's uh, basically 4K, but a weird aspect ratio. Mm-hmm. Each eye is about half of 4K. Uh, with 90 hertz, it says 90 slash 120 hertz frame rate, which means... It sounds, it sounds like you'll throw up. It sounds like... No, it sounds like you... Th- th- so a higher frame rate should prevent you. Higher frame rate... I know. Should prevent I'm talking about the up. 90 part. <laughs> right. If if the frame rate fluctuates, I'm going to Yeah, like throw if it goes up. between 90 and 120, I'm throwing up. <laughs> I think that uh, it will probably be 120 if the if it's interlaced or the resolution is lower or something. Mm. Uh, so I think you're mostly probably going to be at 90, which is still a lot. It's still probably yeah. more than you get in uh, in other budget VR headsets. Right. I'm I'm more so worried in this case. I'm more so worried about it fluctuating. Like even if it fluctuates up, I would rather it sit at 70 forever. Right than to go up to 120. Yeah, I hope that it locks. I, I So from my understanding, so I had an issue with PlayStation VR because certain games would make me want to throw up. Like uh, mm. any game that makes you move, basically. Um, unless for whatever reason, if you're in a car, like like that felt fine to me because I- That makes I, sense. My brain like- moving. Yeah, your yeah, brain my, thinks you're moving and you are. Well, sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, supposedly the higher quality VR headsets don't give you the same sort of feeling, mm. which is I, something I need to experiment with, with, with the quest. Like I kind of have been avoiding games where you move because I felt like I, my past experiences made me feel like I was going to throw up. So for the most part, when I'm playing the quest, 
I do that thing where like you like teleport in games or like uh you just play games where you're bound with it. you're like constrained in like a like a room. Uh hopefully this will prev- I mean I'll get this and I'll try it out. Uh but I have uh Do I want to say little expectation? I mean I kind of like the I like the idea of having a dedicated device more like the Quest than something like this. Yeah. So I'm not too thrilled about it. I'm not thrilled until it's 200 bucks. <laughs> or or if I try it somewhere and I'm sold beforehand, you know, like mm-hmm. it's not it's not something that I'm willing to like spend money that I got to like consider in any way. <laughs> but if yeah, I try I, it and I like it. I'm... The, the original one was $400. Yeah, so, no, uh, it was, it was at the cheapest. At, if you want it with the move controllers it was uh 5 I think. So Yeah, no. Nah, this will nah, probably nah. be $400. Yeah, Which nah. I mean for the quality you're getting is is a good deal, but it is a lot to expect somebody to just drop on like a novelty. Just to be like, hey guys, check out my headset. Also, I already established I take my PlayStation out one time a year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not spending four hundred dollars on that. I wanna play more VR chat on stream. hundred more dollars. <laughs> I wanna play more VR chat on stream. It doesn't have to necessarily be oh in VR, gosh. but I wanna I wanna grab people and force them to go into VR chat. Cursed. Anyway, I deleted the other articles. It's nothing important. Uh, anybody I need to thank? No. Let's... Uh, oh, wait. wait hold on. What am I... I almost forgot. I almost forgot about the... Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Imagine you deleted that. Imagine I deleted that. That would have been horrible. This one's just an absolute banger of a tweet. Uh, here it is. Uh, it's by... Shirts that go hard. It started out with a kiss. How did it end up with piss? Sounds like <laughs> that song. You know that song? No. <laughs> it's the Killers. It started out with a kiss. How did it end up with piss? Oh yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about now, but that's definitely not how it goes for sure. That's how it goes. They made a shirt. It's a, it's a good design. A poor translation on there. <laughs> it's a it's a good. Maybe it's a poorly translated shirt. <laughs> Anyway, uh, now we'll talk to the people who commented on last week's Wolf Den podcast in the YouTube Ooh. comments, starting with Bat Mabel, who says the fact that the first thing Bob does with an air fryer is to try to blow up a switch is the most <laughs> Bob thing ever. True. Uh, I actually tried really hard not to get it to blow up. But, yeah, I uh, know. I saw the video. I still I hope Eric wins. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I didn't pull the winner yet. I'll I'll probably do that sometime tomorrow. Uh, the meme here is that Eric in the chat has won two giveaways already. <laughs> <laughs> he is a mod, so he deserves nothing. But uh, yeah, twice in a row, he's fucking won. He's been the first pick for for yeah, and, and that shit that's crazy because like I feel like. I've won a, a decent amount of giveaways, but I recuse myself. I'm like, it's not fair for me to win. Well, he does too. The first thing, the first thing that I was like, I'm fine with that, is the Sonic thing for for the thing, and then you gifted the subs. <laughs> so I was like, this is fine. Wait, wait, what? Like what, what are you talking about? When you drew, you were like drawing something, and you were like, whoever guessed first, oh, right. the thing that I'm drawing wins a $20 eShop card, and then it was Sonic. <laughs> Right. Uh, and I immediately. <laughs> that makes sense because you like yeah, know I'm you, fine you, you 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 that was a skill based mm-hmm. contest. <laughs> you you know right. me more. And but... I wasn't like and I wasn't like involved in it either. Like mm-hmm. like winning the smash thing or like higher pl- like Sean got the uh the copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield because he got like third or whatever in that tournament. Mm-hmm. But he wouldn't have got it if I took it. You know what I mean? Right. So, so it's that type of stuff. The thing with Eric is that this was a. There were thousands of people who entered. I don't mm-hmm. know about thousands. One of them, there were just people in the chat. The other one, there were literally thousands of people who entered, and I r- rolled the dice on on an algorithm, and it randomly picked him twice. <laughs> <laughs> 
So that's why he's going to win uh, this switch. There are 10,000 entries that. so far. So chances are low, Eric. I'm sorry. And I did give him both. The, the first prize he didn't even want. The second one, I gave mm-hmm. him whatever it was. I just rolled again and gave it to somebody else, too. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Aaron says, two boomers complain about sunshine difficulty. <laughs> Have you played sunshine at all? Yeah, I have played sunshine. I think, uh, hot take, Mario 3D Mario games get progressively better. I that's what uh, I think. I, I'm with you. I just I think that uh, 64 is better than Sunshine. Nah, I disagree. <laughs> I think that the Sunshine, like because of the the fucking pachinko level. Like mm-hmm. that, that like does that game in for people, but I think overall it, it's an it optional feels level. Better. Yeah, exactly. I, I think overall it feels better. I think it's fucking 64 age like milk. And to be fair, I think that Sunshine age like milk is just slightly uh, less aged milk, it's slightly sweeter milk. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that uh, uh, the N64 controller did not age well at all. Yeah, true. Yeah, but I'll say- instantly. Playing it with the Pro Controller, it, I'd rather play 64 than Sunshine. Not as cringe as your cringe. And I think it's partly because the level design is better. It's better suited to the mechanics that are in the game. I I, I think that... Uh, I don't think Mario's that janky in 64. The camera is. That's the biggest thing. Is the camera. camera's bad. And the game would be exponentially better if they just make a free look rotating camera. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, that's my whole beef. But the camera is that bad. <laughs> the camera <laughs> might be bad enough for me to agree with you that Sunshine is better. And and it was for a while until I replayed Sunshine, and then I was like, all right, maybe I take it back because there's a lot of like weird level design issues with Sunshine that just mm-hmm. don't work with the mechanics that are in Sunshine. Like like it, it, it just it's things break weirdly that don't break in 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 uh, Mario sixty four. Mm-hmm. Benjamin Isaac says they've talked so long for GTA 6, they could have remastered Bully. Didn't they? Aren't they working on that? Oh, no. They, I think they canceled everything. Anyway, Clockworth Clone says the Donkey Kong Country show never aired on TV in the USA. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it did. Or unless there's another Donkey Kong Country show, but that was like a Fox Box show. But they released a VHS collection of a few episodes called Donkey Kong Country and The Legend of the Crystal Coconut. No way, yeah, that's the one. Are you are you crazy? The Donkey Kong show, unless you're talking about a different Donkey Kong show, not the like fucking uh, 3D one that looks like it's like shitty claymation. That's the one. That one, that was like one Fox. I think it probably aired later Kirby. in america <laughs> yeah it was like early 2000s Our original release 1997 to 2000 i think it might have released later later here yeah in on, i want to say it was like like latest like 2005 <laughs> was the latest i think that it could have been but it was definitely like somewhere in the like early 2000s yeah I'm, tr- I'm trying to look at the telecast and whole media. Uh, for North America, four episodes of Donkey Kong Country that featured Captain Scurvy were edited together into a video cassette. Yes. These episodes are not in chronological order. Uh, the United States version of the tape was distributed. Okay. We uh, are we having like a Mandela effect right now? I think so. It was I definitely on TV. It, yeah, it it was on Fox. I remember that. I don't know if it was like because I fucking I wasn't watching that show. Like I would turn it on or it would come on like after like Yu Gi Oh or whatever the fuck, and then I would turn it off. I'm like I'm not watching this. <laughs> so maybe it was like the same four episodes, but we definitely had the show in some way. <laughs> The show premiered on Fox Family here in the U.S. a year after it premiered in France. That's what, uh, yeah, I remember it being a Fox show. Yeah, I remember that for sure. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, and this version of Counterpart was also launched. In the U.S., it was one of the first series to be shown on Fox Family mm-hmm. in 1998. Okay. What's, 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 what's this? Wait, what, why are we, why are we creating misinformation this, I remember here? It. I remember it, yeah. Uh, Kev likes movies, says the only way I could see a Zelda adaptation working is an anime. I imagine someone like Twilight Princess, but animated it like a Ghibli movie. Well, they have the mangas. So yeah, they I had a whole I had a whole those. tweet about this where I think that people are weird about Japanese media becoming live action. Like uh, it's mostly uh-huh. a video game thing, I feel like, but also just Japanese media across the board. People no, are no, immediately discarded. It's mostly like, it's mostly anime to live action. Yeah, which is that's Japanese where, media. Yeah, that's where it's the worst. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's a case of a good version of that happening. Uh, yeah, uh, but I don't think that because there hasn't been a good one that there can't be a good one. Because like comic book movies were shitty for a long time too, yeah, and then they I, were. <laughs> I agree. Uh, yeah, I think there's plenty of ways to adapt it in a good way. I think right. that there's uh, a lot more ways to adapt things like this in a bad way. Right. Uh, and Does I don't think Nintendo a- will fuck it up. I think Nintendo yeah. has their hands so deep in it, and they they have no problem dumping a bunch of money into something, and if they don't see it and working, just pulling the plug. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and that's all it takes. It takes a, a, a group of people that give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all we need. <laughs> that's all Pokemon needs. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> they, they need a summoner from Nintendo to come over there and be like, hey, start giving Get a fuck. Get them a Kevin Feige immediately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, now we're in the chat and we'll take questions for a brief moment before I have to pee. And AJ has to go interview kevin Kent. Uh, yeah <laughs> or have him I mean, on his podcast i mean yeah he's just gonna be on the podcast <laughs> uh snorlax says are you and will gonna be doing another panel at li retro this year yes it'll be on that sunday at 2 30 p.m uh uh aj what happened to fan Tisk for th- th- that <laughs> the, <laughs> the branding was terrible, so we changed the branding because the, the name is hard to remember. The name made no sense, so on and so forth. Stuck with the name for a long time because a friend that originally was a part of the channel thought of the the name, and I didn't want to undermine his creative genius, so <laughs> I took forever to change it. Uh, our new channel is Redirect, uh, and we make just. A better a better version of what we did before that we take more time to edit and write and so on and so forth uh bob how you doing tonight i'm good the one how you doing nice love that how did you two meet uh we met in the kind of funny facebook group yep. in a long time ago i mean kind of funny 20... started in 2014 like yeah, it was like, I think it was like either late 2015 or early 2016 when it was two, because that's when I started my YouTube channel was late 2015. Um, and it was like shortly after that, yeah. that I, I met you on Facebook. And then we physically met at the Nintendo Switch preview thing. Right. Uh, Treble says, can I have a hug? Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> uh do you think I'm fine with a 4K 60 hertz monitor if I just want to play games and watch shows and occasional schoolwork? Absolutely. That's more than enough. Mm-hmm. Um, you're fine with anything you, you get, really. Honestly, you can. You, it's, it, it's the law of diminishing returns. The the more the bigger the number, the less of a difference you see. But it is still pretty cool. Yeah, if it's playable for you, it's playable. That's all that matters. Uh, Legend the only of, way you're going to know if you're comparing it to something. <laughs> Legend of Thief says, found a, I think he means PVM in an old storage room. You are still looking for one. NLCM314 was an old security monitor. Is, are, are those the, the ones that you got when we were at, yes. at Too Many Games? <laughs> yes, okay. they are in the background of my next video. Nice. 
This looks pretty sick. It's 14 inches. That looks pretty sick. Uh, yeah. I mean, DM me on Twitter or something. I don't know how... I don't know if an old security monitor has the same features and like inputs and stuff like a PVM would have. This looks like it has like very minimal stuff going on. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, Haley says, will the retro panel be streamed? Uh, I No, it's not going to be live streamed, but uh, we might record it. Why not? Uh, Tech Nanner says, 2K 144 hertz is greater than 4K 60 hertz, but response time is very important. Um, depends on what you're doing. If you're just watching a movie, yeah. you're going to want more resolution. But uh, if you're playing a game, uh, I think frame rate matters, but uh, Again, it's the law of diminishing returns. Going from 60 to 144 isn't going to make that much of a difference. It depends on the game. Like, if you're fucking playing uh, fucking Smash Brothers, getting a 144 hertz monitor isn't going to make a difference. Yep. But he says he's playing well, PlayStation. Not, not frame rate, yeah. There's PlayStation games that would benefit from 144 hertz. But yep. you can't play it in 2K. You can't do 100. You can't do 1440p on a PlayStation 5. So. Yep. Then you'd have to do 1080, 120 yeah. hertz. That's that's why I am so. That's why I clown on them so much for not allowing 1440p because I clown on PlayStation for a lot of shit. <laughs> ha having 1440p at a high frame rate would be much more economical for most people to get a monitor that could do high frame rates, uh, and they just don't seem to prioritize that at all. Uh, Travel says Nintendo coming to PAX West W. Are they actually? That's kind of a huge deal. Yeah, they just announced that. Oh shit! Probably first platoon. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm going. So maybe I can make. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a video. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for being here. AJ, do the ending spiel. Uh, <laughs> uh freaking. What you want me to be Will? I can't yeah. be Will, dude. Yeah, do the Will thing. Come on, <laughs> that's too much. It's easy. <laughs> I remember that. Let me you see if I can do it. To... Thank you for uh, watching us. Thank you for chatting with us. Uh, as always, uh, the Wolf Den Podcast is every single Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here on twitchtv Den. If you like the show for any reason, no. If you want to listen to the show. For any reason, you can do so as well over on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Uh, something about leaving, uh, something about rating and review us. You can leave I a comment on last Andrew, week's Wolf Anchor Den podcast. Uh, and if you'd like to uh, rate us and review us, because that helps us with placement on all those respective platforms. I go, I black out when he does that. I just, <laughs> I just go to sleep. Same. <laughs> Um, and I haven't been on the show in forever. <laughs> I am. I might not stream on Thursday. I want to, but I don't think I can. We're doing the Nintendo podcast. I hope we that. are. Let me you on wanna... that one. All right, come over. I'll, I'll come. Um, I think we're. Rec I mean, I I made the schedule, and nobody's fucking listening to me. Um. So I think we're doing it on Thursday. I should have enough time to stream, but I don't know. Uh, and I want to play more with my LBX. I've been using that. Uh, and I'm making a video on that. It's coming out Thursday. And I like it now. Mm -hmm. You and, should uh, let me help you lab. Yeah, we're going to open it up. Just be, and it, see, the thing is, like, I don't even want all that. <laughs> like, you, you you went through your whole spiel of, like, people wanting to be a part of it. I just, I'm just trying to be a glorified training dummy that can DI in specific yeah, ways I don't, so I don't, that you can learn how to play the video game. <laughs> I just wanted to be left alone and tool around with the thing until I f was comfortable with it. And mm -hmm. now that I'm comfortable with it, I am open to opening it up and stuff. 
I want to be mm-hmm. fucking left alone for a little bit so I can fuck around with the thing and spend four hours trying to figure out how to change the button layout. <laughs> anyway, uh, you got somebody to raid? Uh, fucking open Twitch. Is Dan live? I used to raid Dan when I'm done streaming. He's usually streaming when I'm done. I uh, raid. Woods, I... Is Wood? Hold on. What the heck is wrong with my Twitch? <laughs> it looks like Wood's live. All right, we'll raid Wood. I raid Dan all the time. Is Dan live? Dan's Dan live is right live. Dan. Right there. W- Wood is opening Pokemon card packs. Right so. there. He probably started streaming sooner. I'll raid yeah. Dan. <laughs> yeah, raid Dan. Raid Dan. Everybody go watch Dan. He is uh, playing Sonic. Sonic Mania? Sonic Mania Plus. Uh, go watch him. I will see you guys on Thursday for a video and a whole bunch of other shit that I do. Uh, Yo, I'm posting a video tomorrow. Oh it's shit! Be cool. Over on what I'm channel? Tr- I'm gonna try YouTube.com slash Watch Redirect. I'm gonna try this thing where I stream over there. I'm gonna do Pokemon Dynamax Rays like I talked about Dynamax Adventures. On um, and then I'm gonna YouTube? do the yes, and then I'm gonna do the I'm gonna try the the fucking YouTube redirect shit and do that into the video, and we'll see how that goes. So everybody, go subscribe. Wait, 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 click wait. The bell you're that. gonna you're gonna stream on YouTube. Yes. And then you're going to raid your own raid premiere? Yes. We're going to see what that does. We're going to try it out. I don't think you could do that to your own You channel. can do it. You can do it. Oh, that's pretty sick. It's pretty cool. All right. Uh, go say hello to Dan and goodbye. Bye.